All right, so um, a lot of Christians are against tattoos, are against piercings, are against any type of markings uh, or, you know, artistic expression uh, on your body, on our bodies. The reason why is because uh, essential to the Christian belief is that our bodies are not ourselves, are not for us. They don't belong to us. That That's a core belief within the Bible. And the reason why is because the body is a temple. You know, Jesus called himself, um, his body, a temple. You know, you destroy his body and he'll raise it up in three days. That's what the Bible tells us. It's because the body does not belong to us. It is a temple for God. And you, and you could say, well, how does that make sense? Well, in the Bible, it makes it clear to us that, you know, when you believe in God, you know, you're baptized. Uh, there's another baptism. It's the baptism of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit lives within you or the anointing of the Holy Spirit is on you, that's when the Holy Spirit dwells within you, within your heart. The Bible even says that when you're sealed with the Holy Spirit, God puts a deposit of the Holy Spirit within your heart. That's why a lot of Christians are against piercings, are against tattoos, are against, you know, all types of uh, artistic expressions on the body. Because it is a temple. And if you have a temple, if you are a temple uh, and the Holy Spirit dwells within you, you do not want to be putting all types of markings and graffiti on the temple. I mean, if you have a temple outside, I would expect it you not to, you know, put all types of markings and sayings and words that to the Holy Spirit are just not holy, right? If you are a temple, you are to be holy, just like how God is holy. And so that's why the Bible tells us to not express ourselves like the world does, not to be um, expressing all types of markings that we don't even know where they come from or what they mean, but they do have ancient symbols. There's a lot of symbols that people run their bodies today. They think it's just, you know, fun and game, but they have ancient meanings from ancient times that depict different things and say different things. A lot of people don't think about that, but when you're thinking about the markings that come from ancient history, sometimes they say things that you don't know what they mean. And so the Bible calls calls for us to dress modestly, to take care of our bodies, to not put all types of markings or holes or piercings and things on our bodies, because we don't know the spiritual significance of those things, and we don't know what they're saying within the spirit world. So if you are a Christian, you believe in Christ, you've been baptized, um, you know, you want to leave your body for the Holy Spirit. You want to be a temple for the Holy Spirit to come and dwell within you, because that's a great honor. I mean, the Spirit of God to dwell within your heart that is a great honor. And in order to receive that honor, you need to treat your body as a temple, you know, always praying, fasting, seeking God, um, and, you know, making sure that your mouth is not a, a grave. Because a lot of people sometimes, you know, you, you, the Holy Spirit stays away from you because your lifestyle, you know, your mouth is an open grave. You're, you're always cursing people. You're always swearing. You're always, casting doubt and, and and talking badly about people it's a place where your mouth is an open grave and, and that's not something that god you know delights uh within uh and so we have to see god in all things and the way that we behave in our character and our behavior and the way in which we treat our body so if you ever wonder you know why do christians are against things like that it's because of that it's because we are living temples for God that belong to God, uh, that were created by God, and we need to walk in a way in which the Holy Spirit can live within us um, so that, you know, God can give you his Holy Spirit and you can be sealed uh, for what's to come. You can be sealed uh, for the promise of what God has, you know, has already declared onto us to those of us who believe within him.